This is the Oklahoma Sports Podcast presented by OklahomaSports.net. Stay tuned for interviews and information about high school, college, and professional sports around the state of Oklahoma. Now here's your host, Joey McWilliams. And thanks again for stopping by the podcast today. Our guest is Hannah Moeller. She is the head women's basketball coach at Mid-America Christian University. And, Coach, you all have just completed another run through the NCCAA National Tournament back-to-back championships. You were the top seed in the tournament, defeated Yellowstone Christian 92-66, Grace College, the host team, 91-76, and then in the championship game, a big come-from-behind win, Bruton Parker out of Georgia, 87-84. Coach, just talk about winning for the second consecutive year. Oh, man. You know, I think first of all, it's, just, it's one of those feelings you walk away, and I think three days later, I'm still kind of pinching myself. Was that real? Um, I Last year was, was such a thrill just because it was the first time. And, and so this year walking in, I think, I think our kids in general just walked in with a little bit of confidence and kind of been here and done that. But... Um, knew we didn't really have an easy road that first round game. Yellowstone really gave us a they gave us a best shot and props to their their group. They ended up finishing um, I wanna say maybe fifth in the tournament and, and just did some good stuff. And so um, heading into to play Grace the second round who was the host, you know, you kinda have that feeling like even though you're the one seed, the odds are stacked against you. So um, <laughs> it was a I'm, I'm thrilled for our kids. I, I'm still pinching myself a little bit. Well, Coach, again, you had a great storyline, but that really was the order of the day on Saturday in Oklahoma. Small college basketball in Oklahoma. Uh, your storyline was exciting just like many others, and you were down 8 points, 78 70 with four minutes to go, you come back and, and you get the win going a 9-1 run to tie things up and then and then pull ahead for the victory. I know that this is probably asked a lot, but what do you say to your team at this point? <laughs> well, you know, in the, so we finished the – we closed the first quarter down eight. And in the second quarter, we went on a 16 to nothing run. And I just – I think the message never changed. Um, I kept telling our kids, if we just get stopped, we'll get a shot. If we just get stopped, we'll get a shot. And um, we we do a lot of time and situation stuff in practice to prepare for those kind of moments. But um, we had a little bit of a role in the game. There's a, a gentleman who had some health issues that they had to kind of stop the game. And so we paused and prayed for him, and then they ended up sending both teams to the locker room. And so when that happened, we just kind of used that time to regain our focus and talked about what we needed to do a little bit in our press to adjust and and offensively just reminded them we were getting really good looks. Uh, we just needed to knock them down. And, and so we came back out and there was about seven and a half minutes to go in the game when that happened. And, and the truth is, is uh, Bruton Parker scored the first bucket. So we all were like, okay, that's not what we talked about. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> so if there, you know, well, we just kind of, we got to stop, we got to stop, we got to stop. And we didn't hit a three until, I want to say, somewhere around the fourth minute mark in the game. Uh, and Nevada didn't hit a three, and then we had two back-to-back threes from Jessica Fairley that, that kind of changed the tide for us. But, um, I kept thinking in my mind, if we will just get a couple big stops, we'll convert them to buckets, and we finally did. Um, child our kids, you know, we we are getting reminding them we're getting good books. They're going to fall and just trying to pump them full of, full of confidence and fill their tank up, and, um, and then they made huge plays. Uh, Coach, you all were a part of something just really big on Saturday. It's small college basketball in Oklahoma. I mentioned that 6-0 and in playoff games with Oklahoma City oh women's uh, basketball team with Southeastern's men's basketball team, Southwestern's women's basketball team, some comebacks there as well, Southern Nazarene men's basketball team. OCU actually won twice in a 24-hour period. And then, of course, you all <laughs> win the national championship in the NCCAA uh, talk about small college basketball. The state of Oklahoma has had a good march. Oh, for sure. You know, I'm I'm biased. I played in the Sooner Athletics 12 years ago, and so there's a piece of me that still feels like that's where some of the best basketball is in the country. And, 
you know, I think none of that is surprising that each of those programs are just excelling at a high level. Um, Southern now men just continue to get better and better. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to give too much credit to the arch nemesis, but OCU <laughs> is phenomenal in all that they do. So no surprise there. Well, it, it, it really was a big day, and it was fun, I think, for fans of, of college basketball in Oklahoma, specifically small college basketball in Oklahoma. Saturday was just a really big day. Speaking now with Hannah Moeller, who is the head women's basketball coach at a small college basketball team, in America Christian, who has won a national title. Coach, the last time we had an opportunity to speak was before the start of the season, and uh, you seemed excited about the year. Your team seemed excited about the year. I want to read a quote from you posted following the title game. You said, we are extremely proud of what our group accomplished this week and this season. Specifically, I'm so happy for the seniors, for their careers to end this way. It was a blast to coach these women this year, and I'm so proud of how they've represented our program, our university, and most importantly, the Lord. Talk about what that means then and and what a good season it was. Oh, for sure. You know, we have three, we graduate three seniors, and all of them have had this different and on different days had huge performances um you know a couple in conference and a couple outside of it but um especially jenna coffman and shayla coleman they just they're huge pieces of who we were this year and um even in this last week that those two in particular they just really shined um at different moments in particular in the semis when we played the host team grace college uh jenna's defensive effort changed the game and and anybody that got a chance to see any of that game would know that Shay looked like a beast. Um, she just commanded a lot of different things offensively for us, and so um, I I really am just really proud of them. You know, I we talk a lot about in our program the importance of finishing well, and and so so few actually see that entire career through and stay committed and and get to see the fruits of that. And so it's something I think that I always really want to praise when we have seniors that do that and do it well. Um, Those three, they've done, all three of them, Darby Press as well, did that really well for us and just represent who we want to be and how they carry themselves outside of basketball. Um, Shay actually got baptized three weeks ago in chapel here on our campus at Mid America. Wow. So it's just been a really special year to watch to watch the Lord bless a lot of different things in their lives. Well that that is incredibly cool and I appreciate that we've had the opportunity now to talk about that here on the Oklahoma Sports Podcast. You talk about Coleman and that she was also the tournament most outstanding player. Twenty one points. How's this for a stat line in a, in a title game? Twenty one <laughs> points, eight rebounds, seven steals and four assists. I mean that's that's a pretty good evening. Yeah, you know, she had a triple double a couple of weeks ago in conference play, and then I want to say three or four times um, was one that short um, of having multiple triple doubles, and then we've had a couple different nights where she's only been one or two assists away or something for even having a quadruple double. And so, <laughs> um, when Shay is at her best. She, she is a force to be reckoned with, and it has been it was a blast to see that really come alive. She she was on mission to walk out of there and cut down a net last week, and so I think I think she was really excited when that when that moment came. Speaking now again with Hannah Muller, third season at Mid America Christian, and coach, you've had twenty three wins, twenty four wins, <laughs> and now twenty five and nine this season. So. I would ask you this: What's the next step for the program? I would have to say it has to be twenty-six wins. Uh, that's yeah, <laughs> that definitely. Twenty-six and go to Billy. There you go. Uh, so, there you go. You know, I, the truth is, is you look back on a, on a year like this year, and you you finish on a win, and so few programs across the nation get to finish on a win, um, and and we just continue to be able to build. A, who we are in the locker room first and foremost. And um, I believe culture wins far before skill and talent. And, you know, I think I think the young women in our program are really getting to see, like, the things that we do every day and who we say we are matters. And, and that's converting into to better performances. And so um, the, there was a couple of those this year of that nine-loss column that I thought kind of slipped by us and we could have, we could have done even a little bit better, but uh, we grew from them, and that matters, and I think that's part of it. But 
if 26 is the story for next year, I will be a happy, happy lady. <laughs> that's for sure. Well, we'll just pencil that in and see see how that works <laughs> out and, and a trip to Billings along the way. On the Oklahoma Sports Podcast today with Coach Hannah Moeller from Mid-America Christian. Again, the Evangels National Champions, back-to-back years in the NCCAA. Coach, thank you very much for taking time with us and just continue to enjoy uh, and pinch yourself a time or two. Well, it was all right a couple days ago. It was St. Patrick's Day. That's all right. Uh, but just uh, yeah. enjoy the enjoy the ride and, and uh, let, it, let it sink in, and, and uh, congratulations to your team. Thanks so much for having me, Joy. I appreciate it.